Hey everyone, it's Roy in RK Treasure Center. Um, I haven't done very much, I'll be honest with you. And the reason being is my youngest daughter came down for the weekend to visit. And we went to South Padre Island. Went dolphin watching. Uh, we live down here in South Texas, so South Padre Island is only about an hour away. So we went dolphin watching and we went to a sea turtle rescue uh, farm, I guess if you want to call it. It's a sea turtle rescue area where they have sea turtles that have been injured either by man or maybe they've gotten sick and they bring they get them in good health and then release them not all of them some of them can't but I'm gonna do a what sold video only four things sold and uh, so I'm gonna do a what sold video then after that I've included our little short trip to the island if you'd like to watch that that's fine if you don't want to watch that then after the what sold just cut off the video but uh, we had a great time and if you're ever in South Texas or ever go down to South Padre Island I highly recommend we went to the, uh, the Osprey uh, Dolphin Watch uh, I gotta thank Captain Chris and the uh, rest of the crew of the Osprey we had a great time also the Sea Turtle Inc uh, I didn't show very much in this video but there's a whole lot to see I just kinda showed you a few things and we had a good time and. It, I got some pictures afterwards and like I said if you want to watch it that's fine if you don't want to watch it just cut it off after the what's sold and then I'll see you on the next video but uh, let's get into the what's sold um, the first thing that I sold was a Kate, the Kate Spade eyeglass sunglass case uh, I just listed it the other day sold it for $11.95 I put free shipping and I paid 60 cents for it didn't cost me uh, but about three dollars to ship it out so I'll show it up here so you can see it um, the next item that sold also I just listed the same time as I listed that Kate Spade eyeglass case uh, I sold the uh, Ashton cigar ashtray very good finds if you, and I mentioned that video I'll mention it again uh, it's a good bolo item if you can find tobacco kind of products so especially in the cigars or vintage cigarette stuff uh, great great items now you can't sell tobacco on eBay but you can sell tobacco items so but it's a, a great buy now I had it listed I'm gonna tell you I paid for the Ashton cigar ashtray I paid two dollars um, I took a best offer on it had a listing at $39.95 and uh, sold right away so and that was free shipping but sold right away um, not long right after I listed it so that was a good good flip the next item that I had was a Shakespeare 26 inch ultralight raising uh, razor tip fishing rod I uh, actually that was something that I had at uh, thought I was gonna go go ice fishing one time never did bought it a long while back Still had the plastic around the the handle, never even opened and took it out. So I said, you know, I'm a, I, it's just sitting around. I'm not going to use it. I don't think I'm going to use it. So I went ahead and just listed and sold it. Had it listed at $14.95. Uh, sold it at $13.45 with 10% off, and free. Uh, and that and the buyer did pay the shipping on that. So that was all right. That was good to get rid of. Um, it was just something sitting around things that you have sitting around that you're not using um, there's the old rule if you haven't you if you haven't used it or it doesn't give you enjoyment if you haven't used it within a year cut it and cut your losses get rid of it um, unless it's of course some family heirloom or something you're holding on to but uh, I'm just saying if it's just something that's sitting around get your money back out of it and sell it get rid of it you know so, but that's something I had that I sold and got rid of. The fourth item that I had that sold while we were out on our, on our excursion was a uh, pair of Walt Disney Mickey Mouse uh, World Celebration glasses. Uh, I showed you I listed those a uh, couple videos back. I paid uh, a quarter, 50 cents a piece for them. I sold the pair. I actually had three of them. Um, I sold a set of two because two of the glasses were the same so um, I got one other one listed by itself but I sold the pair 
for $16.95 uh, free shipping on that uh, quick flips um, old uh, uh, McDonald's honestly you can't call it vintage even though it, you know it says the year 2000 vintage is it really 1999 or before so you know anybody that's older enough 1999 seems like yesterday but for younger people uh, 1999 before is considered vintage on most selling platforms so uh, but I sold those and got rid of them so it's good I don't need items sitting around loading up this, those shelves so I make money by list 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 post 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 and get those items sold so those were the four items that sold um, really good really good money makers uh, like I said I only paid a few dollars for each one of those the except for the fishing rod, uh, fishing pole the fishing rod that I had I said that was something I had back that was just sitting around got rid of it so those were the four items now if you'd like to uh, stop here and end the video that's fine I you know I appreciate you, the viewers and all the subscribers that's watching this if you'd like to watch a little bit of our trip I am including a, our trip into the end of this video so stick around and watch it and uh, enjoy yourself and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for being here and watch the video have a good time thank you hi everyone just taking a quick break down here at South Padre Island in Texas. I got my wife Kim with me, and I got my I got our lovely daughter with us. And this back here, this is over by the causeway. So we got some we got some good view and a nice day today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. All right. See you later. And there's the Laguna Madre. Heading over from Port Isabel to South Padre Island. There's the causeway. Some people on a paraglider. That's the Queen Isabel, the Queen Isabel Causeway. It's a really pretty good day. A little light breeze, really nice. It's a long causeway that goes over. There's Port Isabel. Are you ready? For Zoltar the wise gypsy has prepared a little poem just for you. Life is mostly froth and bubble. Two things stand alone. Kindness in another's trouble. Courage in your own. Do not worry, little one. You are not in trouble. But have courage today in your adventures. And come back to visit Zoltar for more wisdom. That's a good one. Thank you, Zoltar. Your fortune is mine for the telling and yours for the hearing. Come let Zoltar tell you more. Is that good? Did you get a good fortune? Yeah, it was good. What did it say? So did it. Let's see. Here we go. Going on our golf trip. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alrighty, folks. Dolphin cruise. Videotaping you. Why? Because I can. Videotaping you. Why? Because I can. <laughs>
dorsal fin will be very different from each other dolphin just like everyone here has their own set of fingerprints that's a dolphin's mark of identification so, these are marine mammals every mammal must have fresh water the closest thing to them for fresh water in the super salty bay would be their fish there's a muscle on the dolphin's throat that holds that fish and squeezes it like a sponge so every last drop of water is out that fish is literally bone dry, they'll continue wants the meal and let your stomach do the digestion. They'll roughly need 15 pounds a day for the protein, the whole 100 pounds of food they consume is where they get their fresh water. The way you can tell a male dolphin from a female dolphin when they come out of the water is you're lucky enough to see their belly. Females have white belly, males have pink belly. Here we go, heading into Sea Turtle Incorporated South Padre Island Sea Turtle Rescue Farm. See you inside. It's to stay in there for three to four weeks and then they can move it. Did you see this little turtle that's sick? Yeah, this is all. You reading about the sea turtles? Yeah. That's a pretty sea turtle. This is Kim. For all of you who never knew, my husband is a bubblehead. <laughs> he, he told me to record it, so he doesn't know what I'm saying. You see how bubbleheads kind of don't know what they're doing? <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> He's, He's kind of out there. Walking underneath the ocean, seeing all the... This is all like plastic and debris that it would get thrown away into the oceans and things like that every day. You see this, uh, see this little square mark on that plastic? That's what the turtles, that's a turtle bite. All those little square holes, those are turtle bites. All those little square holes. They're all turtle bites. And plastic doesn't digest in a turtle. Everybody, all right. Well, we had a good time out there on the dolphin ride, and uh, man, that was 
<laughs> that was a blast. I loved it, seeing all the dolphins. I don't know if you can see behind me, the tide's already going out and there's land showing up right there by the edge of the shoreline. So it must mean it's time to go, so uh, I guess it's time to go.